So early we're here at the launch of the new season. You looking forward to it? Yeah, can't wait now. Uh, six weeks of pre-season done. Can't wait for the match tomorrow and then big one against Shamrock Rovers the following Saturday. What's it been like working with Paul Cook in pre-season? Brilliant now. He's a different manager to everyone else I've worked with, you know. Um, good banter in the club. He likes everyone to get to have a bit of crack, you know. But uh, he's also serious when he needs to be, like, you know. So can't wait to work with him for the rest of the season. And what do you make of the players that the manager's brought in and Morrow made him re sign for the club? Must be a big boost. Yeah, Morrow signed there yesterday. Yeah, he's brought in a very good squad, I think. He's even said himself it's the first time and since he's taken over that he has uh, options in every single position, you know. So big squad seems to do well in all the leagues, like, you know. So I reckon now oh, we have good players. John Russell has come in there now as well. Uh, Gary McKay, Boric Hammond, you know, very good players proven in the league. What do you think the team can achieve this season? Sorry? What do you think the team can achieve this season? Um, I think, realistically, we all know it's going to be both Shamrock Rovers top two. But then there's a place for someone in third. But a um, good season for Sligo will be very good run in the cup and top five finish. Do you think you can push for that third place in the European spot? Um, I think it's between a good few teams, you know. But I think if we look for top five first and then see where we can go from there. And then, as you said, it's a title challenge, many people think, between just Bowles and Rovers. Do you think, who do you think will win that title? Um, two similar teams, but just because of the experience, I think Bowles will go for three in a row.